Shalom Akia. Um, just continuing, just gonna have to make this a part two because I got a, uh, one of those harassing phone calls and it was one of them damn church things, man. That was number six. <laughs> but anyway, uh, uh, back into this lesson, man. Uh, that was that, it was just funny how, uh, uh, Craigslist had posted, uh, one ads for crisis actors to and and those crisis actors needed to sign a uh, uh, statement of confidentiality, man. And then next, you know, about three weeks later, you had this this you know this big incident in um in 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 Texas, you know, in Dallas, where you had people getting killed and cops getting killed. Now, and this you know, but uh, this Mark Hughes, uh, uh, and then that brother who was a brother who was just at the uh, just to show you how much of a liar and how how de deceitful and devilish the Edomite is, man. This brother had a, 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 a weapon strapped over his shoulder. And he was exercising his open carry. And then I guess his brother had heard something was going on with a shooter. And told his brother, I don't want you caught up in this mess. Go surrender your weapon to a cop. Alright. So he actually did it. And it's on video with him doing it. Alright. He surrendered his, his weapon to a cop. The cop gave him a receipt for it. And told him to come and pick it up, you know, at the station, uh, you know, after all this was over. All right. And this actually a video record of this happening. Why did they plaster that man's face all over the news and the media and label him as a terrorist and all this? That dude could have died, man. OK, family and friends, you know, and, and, they, and, they, and, 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 and the whole thing was debunked 20, 20 minutes later, which is going to show you how sloppy and pathetic and desperate these Edomites are getting, man. Okay, uh, you know what, so let me just get, get into these scriptures, you know, because I don't want to make this a long one, man, but let me get a, uh, Deuteronomy, no, 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 let me get, I'm going to read, uh, no, I didn't read this one, let me go back to Sirach, brother, Sirach, yeah. You know, that whole phone call threw me off. This is Sirach uh, 21 and 8. He that buildeth a house with other men's money is like one that gathereth himself stones for, for the tomb of his burial, man. So you Edomites have pretty much buried yourself, man, with your wickedness, man. All right? Because you, you're going to pay. Okay? Let me get another scripture, man. This is Deuteronomy. No, let me get Micah. Micah 2, uh, verse 1 and 2. Woe unto them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds. When the morning is light, they practice it because it is in the power of their hand. And they covet fields. Let's look that word covet up, man. In the Winston Simplified Dictionary, Encyclopedic Edition with Biblical References. Uh, covet, it says... Desirous to to desire eagerly and often guiltily to have extreme or unlawful desire, man. So just like those those accounts that I gave you and from those movies, they wanted the land, they wanted the silver. All right. They, you know, so they murdered, killed and raped and did it and then established laws and then says, well, God bless them and says manifest destiny. And it was OK. Well, as I did in the past video. It's, it's almost time for Manifest Destiny Part 2 because you people didn't read, you Edomites didn't read the fine print, man. The fine print said that, that he that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. So now it's about to be your turn for much longer, much worse, and then at the end of the deal, you get rounded up and get exterminated. That's what it is. Uh, it says, they covet fields and take them by violence and houses. They take them away so that they oppress a man and his house, even a man and his heritage. Let's look up heritage. I've looked it up before. But uh, I'm going to read it again. It's heritage. An estate that passes by descent. That's number one. Number two, inherited quality or characteristic. Number one, biblically, Israel, the chosen people of God. All right? That's what the word heritage is. So it tells you that. This is another cut on you fake Jewish people and you people that support them. Because the Bible tells you repeatedly that the heritage of the Israelites was going to be taken from them. They were going to forget who they were, go into captivity, and in the end of days they were going to wake up. 
that makes the fake Jewish people, the Judeo-Christian movement, a total lie. Because according to you and your falsified history, you've always known who the Jews were. All right? They don't fit the prophecies, man. Okay? A um, couple more scriptures. This is uh, Deuteronomy 30 and 7. And then you're seeing, also seeing the, the dire uh, uh, state that these Edomites are in. On the streets, man, they're losing their homes. As a matter of fact, they have a show called Small Houses. And you send all these Edomites who used to live grand moving in these pocket-sized houses. And they're trying to glorify it like it's a cool thing. All right? No, the matter is, is they can't afford to live in those big homes anymore. So they're resulting to moving into these tiny little houses, man. And it's beautiful. Because they're actually trying to find different ways to rejoice in their downfall. And, and, and it's actually quite comical, man. Uh, just look it up. Google it, man. Tiny Houses, man. And this is what these Edomites are being, are being, uh, um, are being reduced to. Okay? This is uh, Deuteronomy 30 and 7. And the Lord thy power will put all these curses upon thy enemies and on them that hate thee, which persecute thee. And they're persecuting us in the real persecution that haven't even begun yet, man. Because they might snatch me up. You know, you how willing I make it, but I might become a martyr, man. Okay? They, they may kill me for this, for this word, for bringing out this truth. But Yahweh Willen, he never takes the spirit off me to, to defy them until the, to my last breath, man. And, and I'm a fighter, man, you know. I ain't never been in the tap quick club, and I ain't no easy win. Okay, this is uh, Micah 5 and 7. Okay, as a matter of fact, well, you know what, I'm, I'm just leaving it alone. This is Micah 5 and 7, okay. Therefore, uh, 9 is what I really want. Yeah, I'm going to read all, all the way up to 10. Okay. Therefore, I will look into Yahweh. I will wait for the power of my salvation and my power will hear me. So we're, so the men of GMS, okay, are waiting for their power, man. We're not trying to do anything on our own. We have no connection to any other group. We have no connection to Black Lives Matter. We are completely and totally against Black Lives Matter. We are totally and completely against the Black Consciousness Movement, against the Black Panthers, anything else that refer to themselves as black. Because if they refer to themselves as black, hey, he that does not gather with me is an enemy to me, man. That's Luke 11 and 23, roughly paraphrased. And then Luke 19 and 27 is going to so, say, you know, you're how will it, man. We're going to bring people like that before the Lord and slay them before the Lord, man. So Esau may not even get to you, the men of the Lord, right? Like. Okay? But we have no dealings with them. We deal with the men of the Lord and we deal with the, bro the brothers of GMS and the affiliates that teach our doctrine. Period. Okay? Rejoice not against me, my enemy. When I fall, I shall rise. When I sit in darkness, darkness Yahweh shall be a light unto me. And I will bear the indignation of, the, of Yahweh because I have sinned against him. And as the curses fell on us, man, but he's starting to lift it off of us. It's starting to fall on you. And the people who are going to catch hell right now, right about now, is the two-thirds, man. All right? He will bring me forth to the light, and I shall behold his righteousness. Then she that is my enemy shall see it, and shame shall cover her. All right? And that's literally talking about the women of our tribes, mainly the so-called black women, the women of the tribe of Judah, man. Because they're the main ones who are against us, man. And for their enemies and joined unto their enemies, man. Okay? All right? And then, they, and, then, and, then they, and this is how you know it. Say, where's the Lord thy power? You know, she rolling her head when she's right. Where's your God? You know? That's how you know it's talking about us, man. It said, my eyes shall behold her now. She shall be trodden down as the mire in the streets. You know what? Let me look that up, man. Let's look up. Trodden. That was the spirit. <laughs> I went to go look up the word trodden and the word queen popped up in its proper text for all you women worshipers. OK, so I'm going to put that up to the to the screen. And this is the original spelling of queen. OK. Because that's what most of you black women are, man. Not you righteous sisters who watch, you know, but the shoe fit wear it, man. But there it is. Let's put that up close so you can see. All right, maybe it'll focus so you can see because the definition of queen is not a good good one, but it's uh, queen, 
a bold, impudent woman or girl, an immoral woman. Scotland, a robust young woman, a lass. A lass is basically it's a harlot, man. So that's what a queen is, man. A damn a whore. Okay? But we were looking for trotting. So the queens are going to get trotted in the street. Let's get that definition. Trotting. Uh... Past tense particle trotting, possible or irregular. Okay, didn't really break it down. Okay, but let's look up Meyer then. I'm just anxious to see what this what this has to say. Just bear with me, I can. I went a little bit off the reservation with this one, but let's see where it leads us. Cause I only got a, like a scripture two to read, and we're, we're done here. So Meyer, let's look up Meyer. So she's going to be trotting down like the Meyer of the street. Um, and Meyer, deep mud, earth, slush, soil to cause to be stuck in the mud and spattered. Well, that said a mouthful. Okay. Our last scripture is going to be Jeremiah 30, 7 through 9. So, we we'll close with this. This is Jeremiah uh, 30, verses 7 through 9. Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. For it shall come to pass in that day, saith the Lord of hosts, that I will break his yoke from off thy neck, and I will burst thy bonds, and strangers shall no more serve thee themselves of him. All right? So the strangers not just going to have their way and use us anymore. All right? But they shall serve Yahweh, their power, and David their king, who I will raise up unto them. Okay? This is also how you know that the Israelites are not in the, um, in the land of Israel, man. All right? And that these people are imposters. And the, ear, and the end is near, man. So, all praises, glory, and honor be unto you. How about Shem, how Shai? You know, double honors to the apostles. Salutations to the Akim out there doing this work. Shalom.